Get ready to reap your blessings. Hello, I'm Prophet Is Dereese with Dereese Jordan Ministries, and today's prophetic word is get ready to reap your blessings. And so when I was in prayer earlier today, the Lord was sharing with me that the reason why I'm reaping some of the blessings that I'm reaping today is because of sowing. And he wanted me to share with many of you today to get ready to reap your blessings and how to do that. Okay, because there are some blessings that God is saying we need to sow to receive. Scripture says in Galatians 6 verse 7, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows, which brings me to point number one. You must sow. You cannot reap what you have not sown. And so there were times that I had to challenge God in his word because I didn't want to sow in areas where I needed to sow into. And so when I finally realized or when I finally challenged God in his word by sowing into uh, things that I needed to sow into, I started to eventually uh, see the harvest. I eventually started to reap the blessings of it. And God wanted me to know some of these blessings are coming from me sowing, sowing, my God, God. And, and, and the Holy Spirit just told me uh, tears. There was times that I sowed in many tears. And, and God is saying, because you sowed in many tears, you will reap shouts of joy. You will reap shouts of joy. So those of you who have been sowing in tears, you can be encouraged today that you will reap shouts of joy. You will reap a season of joy. Because although you 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 there's many times you may have shed tears, that doesn't necessarily mean that you gave up on God, you know, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean you're a weak person and, and the kind of world we live in, when you do cry, um, automatically it's in the world as a sign of weakness or it's a, uh, or it's a sign of crocodile tears, but not always the case. And in this case, we're talking about crying out to the Lord, tears of joy, tears of of just, I'm sorry, tears of sowing because of in bearing the cross. <laughs> okay, so God knows that there will be times you would you would um, sow in tears for just bearing the cross, and He's saying, "I'm going to reward you for that. You will reap blessings of joy." Okay, so God wants you to be encouraged today. It's so important for us to sow so that we can uh, reap the blessings. You know, unintentionally, we sow uh, things that we shouldn't be sowing and then we reap consequences and, and all of us fall short of that. But God is saying, how's about sowing more intentionally of things that you want to harvest, right? You know, and so that's what the Lord is saying. I want you to start sowing and I want you to continue to keep sowing and I want you to sow cheerfully. God says, I love a cheerful giver. So when we give God, when we sow into the things that God tell us to do, God is also watching to see if we're doing it grudgingly or we're doing it cheerfully. And so that's very important. This is not to be forced. This is something, this is the decision that you make between you and God about what you are gonna commit to sowing to, you know? And so be Become intentional, intentional about sowing into things that you want to see harvest. And when God gave me that revelation, I started to sow a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more in different areas where I believe the Lord was leading me to do that. You know, and to and 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 in as, and, and as much as I could do it. You know, you can um, sow as the Lord is leading you, whether big or small, the point is you are, you know, making an effort, you know, and that's what sowing is when you make an effort to cultivate, to, to, to do something, 
and as an act of faith, God will honor that, okay? So God says, to sow, to sow, and to challenge his word in Galatians 6 verse 7 that uh, what a man reaps, he will sow, okay? And so let's go to point number two. And point number two is pour into yourself. You cannot pour out from an empty cup. Pour into yourself. You cannot pour out from an empty cup. And so God wants you to be encouraged today not to feel guilty for sowing into yourself, for sowing into your self-care, for sowing into your self-development. Because self-development will reap you the blessing of better performance in your occupation, okay, in your calling. And, and sowing into your self-care will reap you the blessing of uh, good health and wellness, okay? God's will, as we see in, you go to 3 John verse 1 and 2, the Lord's will is for us to prosper in spirit and in health. And so us sowing into our self-care is uh, God's will for our lives. He wants us to prosper both in spirit and health. And so you are not in vain for doing that. There was times where people will try to make me feel like I was in vain for wanting to um, exercise a little bit more or eat a little bit more healthier or lose a little bit of um, uh, more weight, okay? And that's is nothing in vain about that. In fact, that is God's will. And with that being said, um, the Lord wanted me to share with you that there was a time where um, I had became overweight and my doctor had warned me that if I didn't lose at least 30 pounds that I would be at risk of getting diabetes. And so I was told to lose the weight 30 pounds within three months. And so that I can be spared from, you know, from um, having diabetes and to God be all the glory, I made the decision to um, sow into my self-care, to sow into uh, my health and wellness, to sow into my self-development. And so when I did that, I reaped health again, okay? I reaped the blessing of health. Whereas I was no longer at risk of having diabetes, I lost, I, I lost 30 pounds. You know, I, I achieved my goal in losing the 30 pounds. And so that was a very rewarding moment for me. And that came from me partnering with God. There are times where God wants us to partner with him by sowing, you know. And in this case, he wanted me to sow into my self-care and self-development you know and so with that being said i also reaped the blessing of better performance because now i i have more energy to do what the lord has called me to do okay and so god wants someone to be encouraged today that pouring into yourself is sowing into your self-care is sowing into your self-development Okay, and, and, and it's not in vain. In fact, it is God's will and you will reap the blessings of better performance and you will reap the blessings of health. Okay, point number three, sow into others. God is saying sow into others. Okay, now that was something that God also challenged me to do and still challenges me to do because this is ongoing. It's not about sowing one time and never again. God wants us to continue to sow seeds that we want to reap. It's simple as that. God wants us to continue to sow seeds we want to reap and not only to better ourselves, but to sow seeds into others in helping others which will also ultimately benefit us as well because what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you, okay? So sowing into others. Now, when I experienced 
or when I do experience sowing into others, oftentimes it'll eventually reap me the blessing of honor. Reap me the reap me the blessing of honor because God is taking note of that. You don't have to expect to be rewarded by the person you are sowing into, although that may happen, okay? But that should not be the reason. Uh, as far as like, in other words, that shouldn't be um, mandatory for you to sow, you know, that shouldn't be your main focus because if you are doing that with the intention to uh, reap a blessing of honor, then I, then you shouldn't worry where the honor comes from. As long as you know it's coming from God. Amen. It's like you blessing somebody with um, a pair of socks and now expecting them to give you a pair of socks. That's not what the Lord is saying. He's just saying, so, so into others. Like when you bless others, you know, for instance, there's times that I was so into someone else uh, financially and it may not even be uh, um, it could may it, it could be small it could be big however the point is I'm doing it with a cheerful heart and with the intention that God is going to reward me for that and a lot of times when you do sow a seed into others you can put a demand on that seed you know and and, and declaring or praying that God will fulfill, you know, something in your life for you blessing this person with a seed. Like those who choose to sow into the word that I release, you know, that word that they sow into, God will honor that. God will honor that and God will bless them back a thousandfold. God will bless them back a thousandfold and they will continue to be blessed because they now know the power of sowing and reaping and investing. Sowing is not just sowing into others. Sowing is not just um, to be looked at as just putting, a, you know, as just sowing. Sowing is also investing. And God wants us to not only invest in ourselves, but he wants us to invest in others and you know, again, will you make a way for others? God will make a way for you. There's times that I I will sow a seed and God will bless me with blessing. And I will reap a blessing in an area of my life where I need it most. Things like that has happened to me before. And so God wants you to be encouraged today that you sowing into others is not in vain. When you're sowing on good ground, you want to sow into good ground. Okay, you want to sow and cultivate good relationships. You want to sow, you want to sow and cultivate in people and in things that that God will um, be blessed, that God will be pleased with. So when you sow into the kingdom of God, you can never have to uh, worry about not reaping a blessing. Okay, and so God wants you to know that do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we faint not. And the three points that I share with you today are you must number one you must sow you cannot reap what you have not sown number two pour into yourself you cannot pour out of an empty cup number three sow into others sow into others and so i just want to pray over this word right now that this word reaches the people that it needs to reach that it encourages someone today not to grow weary not to grow weary in well-doing not to grow weary in sowing not to give up in in sowing into themselves into their self into their self-care don't grow weary into 
sowing into your self-development. Don't grow weary into sowing into tears, you know, in tears. Don't grow weary in sowing into your self-care. Don't grow weary into sowing into bettering yourself. Don't grow weary into sowing into others. Don't grow weary into sowing in the kingdom of God. For you will reap if you do not give up. You will reap. God says you will reap. God says get ready to reap your blessings. Get ready to reap your blessings. No weapon formed against your harvest shall prosper. Hallelujah. God says you will reap hallelujah what you have sown and you will reap the blessings hallelujah that you have been sowing to receive god says get ready get ready it is your time hallelujah to be blessed to be a blessing and this is why the lord is going to continue to keep blessing you to be a blessing because he sees every time he blesses you you're ready to sow whether it's um seeds of, of of donation whether you're ready to sow seeds of investing in more self-development whether it's to sow seeds of investing in more self-care whether it's to sow seeds of helping others whether it's to sow seeds of showing love mercy you know kindness those are all ways we can sow by the way there's so many different ways that we can sow Okay, God is saying, treat people the way you want to be treated. God is saying, be the change you want to see. God is saying, sow in things that you want to receive. Sow into places where you want to go. Sow into people that you want to, um, uh, to, to, to nurture a relationship with, a divine connection with. God is saying, this is the season to sow into the things that we want to obtain so that we can expect a blessed harvest. These are not the kind of blessings that might come. These are the kind of blessings that are guaranteed. God says, get ready to uh, reap your blessings. Get ready to reap guaranteed blessings. These are blessings that are guaranteed. These are not blessings that that um that are are unexpected. Although they harvest at times we may not expect it, but at the same time, you know it's coming. These are not blessings where you could say, "I'm not sure if this is going to to come to pass. I'm not sure if I'm going to receive it." No, God is saying. When you sow these type of seeds that I'm telling you to sow, he said, you will reap the blessings. It's just a matter of when. And that's where we grow weary because we think that when we sow a seed, that it has to harvest a blessing the next day. And God is saying, I need you to understand when it comes to reaping blessings, these kind of blessings, these are the kind of blessings that I need you to plant a seed, I need you to water, I need you to cultivate it. And I need you to give it a little time to grow. Okay, this is not just a blessing that's going to happen for you um, without you um, sowing, without you making an effort to put in the work to cultivate. Although there are blessings where God will uh, send us that we have not even worked for. But this is but this is this is different. God is saying, I'm trying to teach you how to be blessed in every way possible. This is what the Lord told me. He's trying to bless me how he's trying to teach me how to be blessed in every way possible. And this is just another way that God has shown me that I can receive and obtain blessings. And I'm sharing that with you. Oftentimes people, you know, email me or ask me questions concerning this matter. And God is saying, this is the answer. The answer is, 
There's not one way I could bless you. There's many ways I could bless you. And in this case, one of the ways that I can bless you is through sowing. God is saying through sowing, but we're so, we're so um, 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 skeptical with God at times that we forget that this is a, a, a powerful way for us to reap the blessings. And God says, I don't want you leaving no blessings on the table. God says, I want you to understand today, this is just another strategy, another tool, another divine instruction, another teaching on how you can obtain blessings. Spiritual blessings, physical blessings, natural blessings, <laughs> all type of blessings. And how is that possible? Because there's times that God is telling you to, to sow in prayer so you can receive that spiritual blessing. You know, it's not always going to be um, uh, sowing in the natural, although there are going to be times we're going to have to sow in the natural where we're going to have to uh, sow some money into something, where we're going to have to sow um, um, an investment in ourselves, where we're going to have to sow um, into that divine uh connection where we're going to have to sow into our self-care and self-development okay so just be encouraged today to get ready to receive get ready to reap your blessings get ready to reap your blessings in other words be expecting be expecting of reaping blessings because of sowing you have the right to expect to reap your blessings. You have the right to put a demand on your seed that the word of God says, a man reap what he sows. So God, when I sow this seed of self-care, when I sow this seed of self-development, when I sow this seed of donating to someone else, when I sow this seed of love, when I sow this seed of love and respect i can expect to reap the blessings of these things when i sow tears i can expect to reap blessings of joy receive this word today in the name of jesus that is your time to get ready to reap some blessings that are guaranteed when you take heed to the instructions of the Lord. And many times when God releases a prophetic word, it comes with an instruction. So if God is telling you today, a man reap what he sows, you should get excited because you can now intentionally sow into things and areas and yourself where you want to see improve, where you want to elevate, where you want to see prosper, where you want to see uh, nurtured and grow and cultivate okay so be encouraged today that you will reap your blessings you will reap a grand harvest that is guaranteed says the Lord when you sow so take this word hallelujah and implement this word immediately because I'm, I, I know that those who are going to implement this word with a cheerful heart, not grudgingly, is going to be having some testimonies. Hallelujah. Concerning this word. Concerning receiving this word. I'm already seeing testimonies in my life come to pass and I'm excited for those who this is going to happen for or who is going to continue to manifest uh, the blessings of reaping because of sowing and I just want to pray in the name of Jesus that you will be encouraged today that no matter how little or how big you sow it's still an effort like I'm seeing a vision of someone trying to even um, lose pounds 
And God is saying, hey, even if you worked out five minutes today, it's, it's, it's more than with another person. It's more than not working out at all. Than as opposed to someone who didn't work out at all today. So God is honoring your efforts. And believe me, baby, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap the blessing of what you're sowing into. Okay, so whatever that may be that you are intentional about, God is saying get excited because it's guaranteed blessings. It's a guaranteed blessings. God says it's a guaranteed blessing. So thanks for watching. And I just want to encourage someone today that if you don't know the Lord as your Savior and you want to receive the Lord today as your Lord and Savior, I want you to just pray. Father God, I just pray right now that you forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day with all power in your hands. Thank you, Lord, for coming into my heart. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior in Jesus Christ. And I thank you today that I have made you my Lord and Savior. And if you have prayed that and received Jesus in your heart today by faith, then you have now um, started a brand new relationship with the Lord. But of course, you want to now um, study the word for yourself and you want to um, be baptized in the name of Jesus at the local church where God may have you to go to. And again, thanks for watching. Those who are new, welcome. Those who are, are back, welcome back. If you have been blessed by any part of this word or all of this word, I just pray that you would apply this word to your life and thankful and declare today that this, this is a word that you needed. And for those who want to sow into this word, I will leave that um, in a description box down below or I will have it at the end of this video. Again, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. God bless you. Mm -hmm.